the resistance band front squat. So for this, Janelle, I'm going to have her face you just to show the setup first. And she basically do is so step on it with one foot. In this case, we'll go to the right foot. And then she's just going to kind of like hammer curl it up to the front squat position. Now, the idea with the front squat position is we're, we're loading the front of the body more, where like with the barbell, we'd have a back squat with the bars on the back or on the front. And when you load that front, you're going to get a lot more quad. It's just, it's a, it's a, it's a different positioning. You'll feel the difference. Um, what I want to point out, though, is the way Janelle's holding it, okay? Uh, a lot of people find that it, it, the band chokes them. Um, so what she's got is she's actually got her thumbs underneath the band. You can see she's pulling that out. But then she's going to take her elbows, tuck them up this way. The idea is to have the upper arm or the, the arm here, the upper arm, the tricep, parallel with the floor the entire time. So when she goes down, you don't want that elbow to drop. And then when she comes up, she's actually going to drive through the elbows, picking her body up, kind of lifting up through the elbows. So from here, let's get a, a side stance now. We're just going to kind of shift her, okay, so that we can show the posture. Now, when we go down, we're looking for a 90-90 position. So just hang out at the bottom there for me, Janelle. So we can, we can reestablish our setup if we need to. But essentially, I mean, it's not going to be perfect each time. But we're looking for the heel to be under the knee, creating a 90-degree angle here. And then we're looking for the knee essentially to be underneath the hip, creating that 90-degree angle here. So that's what we're looking for. And no, it's not always going to be perfect. Okay, but what we want to do is we really want to keep in mind that this is not a lunging uh, back and forth motion. It's a split squat, straight up and down. If I was, had a plumb line here from her ear to her shoulder to her hip until that knee, it would all be in a straight line. So that's what we're looking for. So just go ahead and do a couple of reps. And she's driving through those elbows. She's going to inhale down. Exhale up, really paying attention to staying tall. That's the key. If you really pay attention to those elbows, keeping them up, that's going to help you stay tall. And what that's going to allow you to do is focus primarily on lifting with the glute. And in this case, the front leg, so her right leg, her right butt cheek is really what we're going after here. If you feel a tremendous amount of strain in this quad, a couple things to look out for. One is you just might be positioned incorrectly and you're driving through that back leg as opposed to pushing through the front heel, loosen up the toe, push through the front heel, and really drive through that heel to hit that glute. The other thing is you might feel some tension in that quad if you have really, really tight thighs. It could be tight quads, could be tight IT bands, could be a variety of things. If you feel pain in this, stop immediately because chances are you either did not pass the particular uh, screen, the inline lunge screen, which you shouldn't be doing this exercise anyway, you should be doing a modification. But even if you did pass the inline lunge, when you add load, if you all of a sudden feel pain in that back knee, you're not quite ready for it, or you're not mentally in the game and you're not using the right muscles. Lighten the load and really practice this one because if you're feeling it in the back leg, you're not getting the benefit that you're looking for anyway. This is all about the butt cheek of the front leg, okay? And that is the split stance or the front squat version of the split squat.